Hello, 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 everyone. So this is Trina Boyd. I am a partner with Arise. I wanted to shoot this pretty quick video for people who are IBOs with Arise. Um, I want to kind of go over some things and different deductions that you can do as an IBO with Arise. Um, so tax season is coming around, it comes around every year. Um, but as an IBO, we are small business owners. Um, so with that being said, we have a lot of deductions that we can deduct. Um, before I get into this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So one of the things that you can write off and you want to get your pen and paper because when you get ready to go to either file your taxes as an IBO or small business owner, or when you... Um, actually have a tax preparer prepare your taxes. Make sure you have um, your notes so you can allow your tax preparer to do their job. So one of the things that you can write off as a small business owner, if you are utilizing your vehicle for business, it does not have to be in your business name, but if you are utilizing your car for business purposes, um, for whatever it is as a IBO, um, you can write your car off as a um, small business owner. Um, so when you go to file your taxes, um, it's a form. Let me pull this form up for y'all. You know, I like to show you stuff. So here's a form. It's called the schedule, called Schedule C. So we're going to get the juicy, juicy part. So a Schedule C is basically what you would use if you are um, if you are a sole proprietorship or if you are an LLC. Um, if you are LLC, sole proprietorship, um, if you are an S corporation, it's a different form that you're going to use, but you would still use it for personal deductions. But if you are registered with the rise as a sole proprietorship or LLC, this is the form you're going to use. So this is how I'm going to show you. So right here where it says um, car, truck expenses, this is where you would write off your mileage. So this form will automatically populate if you're doing your um own taxes whatever software that you use this form is going to automatically populate so you don't have to pull this form or anything it's going to automatically populate when, when you say that you are a small business owner or in the, whatever it is um uh, independent contractor or small business owner okay so with all of that being said I want to let you know a couple of things um, when it comes down to filing. So um, a lot of people who may be watching this video um, is either financing their vehicles or not leasing their vehicles. So what you can do is write off any um, mileage. So with the mileage, um, you'll put in, um, how many miles that you drove. So if you have, it's a cute little app called uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed, um, that's only $5 a month. It automatically tracks your um, mileage. So it's called QuickBooks Self-Employed. So anywhere you go, it will automatically track your mileage. Um, but back to number nine. So you can write off your car expenses. We talked about that. Your car expenses can be written off. Um, but it's more so not your car insurance, not your car payment, but your mileage. So it'll be your mileage. If you are leasing your vehicle, then you can write off your, let me circle it for you. If you are leasing your vehicle, you can write off your lease payments. So it will go right, where is it? It will go under number 20. It says rent or lease. Rent or lease. Right here. This is where you can. 
write it off. So whatever you pay per month for your car, for your vehicle, for your um, car, that's where you put your lease. So if you do have a brick and mortar location, some people do. I've seen it to where people have a brick and mortar location with um, a rise. I don't know why, but they do. Um, you can write your lease or your rent payments here too. So A would be for your vehicle um, and B, you can put your uh, business property, um, your rents there. Um, so basically that's where you're gonna put that. Um, so car and truck expenses is your mileage for number nine on your schedule C. And then 20 is lease payments if you're leasing a vehicle or if you are renting a building. Um, so that's one um, deduction that you can write off. So make sure you write that down. Make sure you talk to your tax preparer about it or when you go in to do your taxes, whatever software you use, just make sure you know that you can write off your car. So the second thing we are going to talk about, if you're taking notes, um, any contractors, like the people that you actually work, that work for you, Arise is going to give you a 1099. You will have to decipher what portion of that 1099 is profit and the other portion is contract labor. So whatever um, you have paid, your 1099 workers will go under 11. If you look on the screen, it's contract labor. So you will put all of, not the full amount of what Arise is going to give you. It's going to, you're going to have to decipher um, how much of your contractors, um, how, how much of what you paid them for that previous year, you're going to put on 11. So that's number two of what you would be able to write off on your taxes. Uh, so there's so much stuff that you can write off. I'm just going to give you all a few. I'm not going to uh, show you all how to do a full because, you know, in my history is that I used to be a tax professional. I used to write and do taxes. So I know all the deductions that you can get as an IBO. So that's why I'm doing this video. Um, so, yeah. So the next thing, and these are some things that a lot, these are common things. So the next thing that you can write off is your mortgage right here number 16 it says it right here sorry the insurance got on that too so number 16 is entrance c instructions mortgage paid to bank that's 16a okay so basically um it's going to whatever software you want to use is going to ask you to uh, provide that 1099 i think it's a 1099 uh, I or something like that, but it's basically your mortgage statement of what you have paid in your mortgage. So that's going to go right there. Um, you'll just fill it out to the T and it's going to automatically basically um, cross over for you. If you, if I'm speaking foreign to you right now, because I know like I, I can do this in my sleep, but if I'm speaking foreign to you right now, as far as how to do this, because I am trying to tell, show you how to do it, you you probably need to pay for a tax professional to do this for you. Um, let's see, unless you just want to do self-prepare, you can. Um, the next one, I'm not gonna suggest any um, softwares because you have to know what's gonna work best for you. So number 17 is legal professional fees. So basically with the professional fee, um, I'm circling it for you, number 17. Circle, circle, circle. So I'm on number, I think I'm on number four. So we got car expense, we got contract labor, and we got mortgage payments. Um, and then number four is any legal fees or professional services. So depending on what you have paid for professional fees. So some people may pay their um, CSPs, um, what is it? The portal, the portal uh, training fee, that's a professional fee. Any software that you have utilized to run your call center will go under professional fees. So for example, any QuickBooks payments that you've made, um, 
anything software related uh, pertaining to your call center that you would have had to use, <clears throat> you would definitely put it on a professional feed. Okay. Um, let's see. Office expense. So office expense is basically. Let me get that out of here so I can show you all. So that's four deductions so far, y'all. So four deductions so far. Let's do um, utilities. So utilities, you are working from home, right? So if you are working from home, you have to pay utilities. You have to pay utilities to be able to run your laptop. You have to pay utilities to be able to utilize this business to do whatever it is that you're doing. So number 25 is where you will write off your utilities. So you can write off your electricity, you can write off your um, internet, um, you can write off your phone bill, you can write off, let's see what else you need, uh, gas, um, anything utilities that you're needing to be able to run, you know, run your business from home, you can write off utilities. That's under number 25. I want, I have this form out just to show you all that I'm not lying, like it's on here. The, the IRS allow these deductions. A lot of people don't know about these deductions as an IBO or as a small business owner, regardless. So with all of that being said, I wanted to do this video on it so you would know when tax season comes, these are the different things that you can write off, okay? Um, so that is five deductions. I'm gonna give you one more one more so let's see what i can give you one more i mean all the deductions are here you can sit on schedule c but you just need to know which ones um that you can write off so i'm gonna give y'all an easy one and we are going to leave it like that okay so an easy one would be that would be easy for you to remember the last deduction is supplies so with that being said you may have to buy a laptop or a desktop to be able to run your business only thing about it it has to be bought within that year so a lot of us probably already have laptops and desktops when we start this business but it has to be have have been bought in that previous year that you're actually um filing the taxes for so this year if you have to buy a headset if you're taking calls you can write this off um supplies like if you have to um buy paper printer um what else what else anything related to your business that you have to if you have to buy a phone any supplies that you need in order to run your business is where is what you would um write off okay so with all of that being said um Please leave any comments below. Make sure you thumbs up this video. This is some good information for you to be able to utilize in your um, when you get ready to file your taxes. So make sure you um, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will be doing more videos for IBOs. I know it's a lot of IBOs out there who need guidance on certain things. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.